Hi Capricorns and welcome to your June 2023 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about your month ahead. Um, wow, I'm really excited to be uh, talking to you and providing some intuitive messages followed by a week-to-week -week tarot forecast and an extended reading linked below on Patreon. Uh, let's get into it Capricorns. Um, okay, so you have a way that you're um, sort of getting to the heart of things this month. Like you're not getting distracted here. You're um, very... Uh, I feel advised by the universe during this time to get to the heart, get to the core of matters and not get distracted by the exterior or by the um, sort of distracting flashing lights per se. Uh, you have a much better balance that you can strike during this time. So I feel that many Capricorns have been kind of like um, wrapped up in distraction, maybe um, really having to deal with a lot of argumentative people or having to really deliberate with others. So if you can imagine you're in like a high stakes business meeting or something, um, this has been how I felt the energy of Capricorn actually since about 2020. It's like high stakes business, high stakes negotiations, high stakes like, um, you know, arguing or, um, you know, sort of trying to represent different polarities and come to some type of compromise. The compromise happens here in June and you have a barrier that you're crossing. Um, if you've heard some of the other readings this month, I've been talking about how June 2023 for everyone crosses us into a certain barrier um, through a threshold. And we're going to look back in July and be like, wow, that was one of those times in my life where the entire recipe changed or the entire outlay alchemy or... Um, typical way of operation shifted. And um, you are encouraged uh, this month, Capricorns, to allow the wheel to turn. So your major arcana cards are the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. Uh, both are very transformative energies. Um, on the side of the Wheel of Fortune, um, you know, there's there are those old sayings like the wheel turns or with time, um, you know, that which was once unfortunate can now become fortunate. Also, that which was once fortunate can now become a detractor. So I want you guys to um, see that if that's happening in your life, like, okay, once upon a time, many years ago, I thought that this business, this relationship, this aspect of my life was like a gift from the universe. And now it's kind of holding me back, or now it's kind of like a heavy weight on my um, mobility or a uh, very dense. And also starting to see where like things that were once traumatic for you or things which were once really um, causing a certain deterioration in your life, how now you see that as a great lesson learning process or how now you kind of um, know not what not to do and you have a certain like fortune about your own personal filtration process because of the bad things before. Um, so what's encouraged is not to get like hung up on like why life changes like this or why you know, the wheel turns, but instead to learn and start to implement or enact aspects of you that will kind of resonate with the more fortunate or the more, what, what you now see to be the more fortunate or more uh, well way to move forward. Um, also Capricorns, I'm feeling that things need to be very real for you. Um, so I'm feeling that just within a few years time, uh, I don't know whether this is from things like inflation or uh, just maybe it's cultural changes about what is valuable. Um, I would lean more into real things, okay? Real property, real people, real relationships, rather than like uh, fiat things or paper or dating apps or things on the screen, social media. All of that kind of unreal fantasy-based stuff is going to start to get really confined to a certain area of our life. And we need to really be in tune with the real stuff. And this is like what Capricorn is known for, right? Like Capricorns just tend to prefer, you know, a house over like a bank full of money. And sometimes they have both. But like, uh, basically what I'm saying here is you might start to lean more into real assets or real things, as I can tell you um, with what's going on now, that uh, money is not really going to be where it's at. All right. Just, you know, the money in the account or the um, paper fiat stuff. Uh, so you are um, perhaps starting a new journey of investing for some of you, you know, the seven of pentacles, the ace of wands, the ace of cups. Uh, maybe this is investing your time differently. Maybe you don't have to work as many hours at the office now. I've been recommending for every single sign compress, reduce, and decrease the things that are like really taking from your energy and give yourself as much space and time as possible because I feel that we just need time to ruminate. 
uh, during a month like this. Um, but overall, it's gonna it's looking very positive for you guys. Okay, um, just the symmetry of this reading and the um, balance of new youthful energy with more mature, more staid energy. Uh, leads me to believe that you have one of the most balanced collectives right now, sign of Capricorn. Um, but anyway, let's talk about your week to week. In the first week of June, you have the Ace of Wands rooted down by the Knight of Pentacles. Um, new projects ignite, uh, planting new seeds uh, actually start to bear fruition. So the new seeds that you planted maybe a few months ago are starting to bear their first fruition. Here. And you're um, called to channel this into an even more creative outlet. So um, getting more airtime or maybe, um, you know, if you're in some type of creative project or in some type of whatever kind of project you're doing right now, try to dress it up even more or um, show it to even more people. Like, don't be afraid to tell people what you're embarking on. Don't be afraid to tell people um, or, you know, connect yourself more with other people who do what you do. Like, it seems like a good time for networking and a good time for um, showing the world who you are. Week two, the Wheel of Fortune rooted down by the Seven of Pentacles. Very nice. Okay, nice payoff for some of you. Some of you are maybe like um, getting some type of settlement here or some type of inheritance. There's a feeling also of like maybe many, many years of hard work yielding some type of really um, sturdy, strong, and fortunate, lucky situation. So some of you have like invested in the right place or have... Um, found a bit of a windfall here. Also, it's a wonderful, wonderful time for retaking stock of your garden, everything you're growing, every project you're working on, and understanding how it fits into what I was talking about previously. About like, is this still a fortunate thing for me? Is this still something I want to grow? Is this still something that I need? Also, seven-year contracts, okay? Um, seven-year cycles could be starting up uh, during this month. And um, it's good to be making those longer-term plans like that great in all of June, but especially in that second and third week. So third week, the Ten of Cups rooted down by the Four of Wands. Beautiful. Marriage for some of you. Yes, marriages do happen in June, don't they? Uh, congr congratulations if you're getting married. Comment below if you're getting married. We'll all uh, congratulate you. Um, but yes, uh, establishing a household, establishing a union, alliances, um, coming together in teamwork and collaboration, finishing a project, finishing a um, with total completion, a cycle of your life, for many Capricorns, this is just going to be symbolic, okay? So you don't have to um, push yourself as hard anymore. You're done with a certain cycle of sort of like, I hate to use such strong words like exploitation, but I do feel like if you've struggled with exploitation in your life or if you've not been properly compensated or if someone's taken advantage of you, that could be over as well. And this kind of indicates a new marriage with yourself or a new kind of like ceremony of union that indicates an end to exploitation. So that's very positive. Um, also an interesting time for fertility, um, having children or a creative energy in any form, again. Um, but try to not hold yourself back from celebrating. Um, if you're invited to a wedding, if you're invited to any type of uh, celebration, that's really nice during that solstice week of uh, June. Week four, the Ace of Cups rooted down by the death card. Okay, so you are um, recharging, and you have reduced and cut something out. Okay, so something has ended, something is no longer happening in your life, and it's very congratulatory. It feels nice to start to um, expand the recovery and rejuvenation healing processes of your life, massages, spas, um, nicer beds, uh, nicer sleep routines, uh, being by the water, being by the ocean, and through that, perhaps symbolizing some type of passage from a time of overexertion and grinding into a time of more benevolent reception. You know, Pluto will be back in your sign this month, which for the very last time, uh, okay, um, for the very last time, uh, Pluto is going to be back in your sign and it's going to kind of like probably send you because we're in cancer season there, right? So your axis as well this is a very kind of like powerful time for you guys, actually. Uh, there's a lot to talk about there about like moving into cancer season, Pluto going back into your sign and um, the 
emotional transformation, Ace of Cups and the Death card. Also the veneration and celebration of how your life changed over those over that time period of 2008 to 2023 as Pluto was in your sign. Um, it might be good to, I, I mean, I love that Seven of Pentacles archetype for that as well. Really looking back at it, really seeing it, the old journals, the old scrapbooks, the old photos. Where are you now? Where were you during that uh, larger 15-year um, timeline? And um, what needs to continue and what doesn't? What can be left in that time and moved on from? And also, what do we still need to heal from that time? What like trauma signatures or what difficulties do we need to see a complete and total moving away from so that we have more of our own energetic equity to ourselves so when we get stuck in trauma signatures or when we get stuck in the past when we're not in the present a lot of our i suppose for lack of a better term energetic equity is still tied up in things that are not a part of our lives anymore which is a way to like really lose track of time and a way to not be very healthy. So it's it's important, I think, during this time for you guys to maybe cut off some of those lines um, to things which just are not relevant to your life anymore. Um, Ace of Cups and the Death card, fourth week of June, Cancer season, Pluto back in your sign. It's very much like final goodbyes for some people. And I think that it needs to be celebrated. I don't think it needs to be sad. I don't think it needs to be... Um, I mean, it can be surreal. It can be even bittersweet in a way. But ultimately, it's leading us to a much healthier, much more abundant place. And isn't that where we want to be? You know, sometimes Capricorns, one of the negative um, shadowy parts of the sign of Capricorn is like sometimes not wanting the good story or sometimes feeling more activated or more um, relevant in a hard story or in a um, phase of hardship. And I think that you don't have to have that now. I think that you have like plenty of stories that you can draw on um, in, I suppose, your own like self-narrative building process that are like that. And isn't it about time for a story of abundance and a story of healing, well-being, and happiness? That is what June 2023 offers you guys. And um, on that note, Capricorns, I want to conclude your reading. I am going to do an extended for you guys on Patreon, which will be linked below and in the center of your screen. We'll get some more cards and we'll talk more about um, healthy ways to detach and to really uh, have this passage away from these old traumas uh, in a healthy way. Um, that'll be linked below and in the center of your screen. Have a great month, Capricorns. Bye.